I had a Christmas number one once. No, you didn't. No, it wasn't like the proper charts. It was the hundred most irritating Christmas cash-ins and our school choir came tops. I was on Triangle. And see, our music teacher, Mr. Rooks, he'd been in this band, Slapper Child. Yes, yes. And they'd never had a number one or even sold a record. So he'd bunged all his savings into putting ours out. It went, Christmas. Go, go, greedy stuff, the needy Santa. Pretty, witty, might be Petey, Rudolph, tragic, enslaved freak. Ding. It's not particularly catchy, and the tune's just mad. Probably why no one bought it. Poor Rooks, he went loop the loop. The bailiffs found him on Boxing Day hanging by a string of fairy lights. So what does come next? Is it about a transplant? Does the patient not survive? It's a love song. Oh. Ben! How was it? <laughs> oh. You're too good for them, sugar. Bugger. Ben, sorry. Ben! <laughs> You come in, missus. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. We should see it as a life lesson. Yeah, lesson being, we can't sing. No, I've learnt not to bother helping people. They only throw it back in your face. From now on, my life is all about Annie. If you see Lillian in there, tell her to hurry up. Happy Christmas, Eve. Just in time. Although, why you volunteered to help Tess Powell in the first place? She's not a professional knife thrower. Better get you towelled up too, Barry, in case Lillian doesn't come back or comes back and runs off again. Oh, I cannot miss Barry's star turn. Um, Mary's in an important role. Thank goodness. There. Oh, where did I leave Jesus? I've got him. Now, remember to keep its face turned towards you. You can't have a green messiah. Or a partially sighted one. Mmm. My little baby Dane gouged its eye out. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. I'll be fine now. Just let my stomach settle. Halos! Oh. <laughs> Could you help me with this, please, Lillian? Let's get you sanctified, Barry. I'm quite nervous, too. Oh, yeah? Mm. Not throwing up, but I'm having difficulty finding Mary as a character. She's not as straightforward as Myra Hindley. We did her life story at school. It was mainly just sitting about in prison. Right. But Mary comes such a wide range of emotions. There's surprise at here and I'm having God's baby, and oh no, will he punch me feeling when I tell my husband, discomfort on the donkey, certain sense of, mm, this isn't where I'd have booked when we end up at the stable, joy at seeing my little baby, mixed with a little disappointment that it's not a girl. Mm. <laughs> And I'm undecided on postnatal depression. I know I'll have given birth to the Son of God, which should be a happy feeling, but I'm married to a man who isn't even jealous. I've just had someone else's child. I mean, that doesn't bode well for a happy marriage. No jealousy. Shit. Looks like we've got another booer with Tess. How are your nerves now, Lils? Suddenly got a lot more tense. Right. I'm making an executive decision. I'm bringing forward the nativity. Ha! Inducing Jesus. <laughs> Buggeration, does that mean we're on next? Yep. Have you remembered your lines, Barry? Your line? Yes. You better not say it like that. 
Mary asked should they name the baby Jesus and Joseph bites her head off. I'm saying I've remembered it. I'm not quilting it back. And there goes any hope of success. You know what you want to do, Lils, if those old folks start giving it ugly? Sway from side to side. And they'll be mesmatized. Now that's snakes. So what's old folks? Uh, I could give them such a good show that they won't want to boo. Yeah. Or maybe try the swaying thing, like Clint says. Right. My work here is done. You know this prop mistletoe? Does it work the same as the real stuff? I've never found either worked for me. Why? Who have you got your eye on? Lucy Wu. She never used to do it for me. Oh, but she does look sweet in her pixie costume. No, I was seeing her at the Christmas party. Oh, the way she was dancing then, I don't think you'll be needing mistletoe. Yeah. That wasn't dancing, Clint. She was in anaphylactic shock. Hadn't spotted the nuts in the Christmas pudding. Yeah. Well, I'll still let her have a go. Oh, thank fuck you're the last act on, Lils. Mm. I'm running out of breath going back and forth. And at least we'll finally have this whole debacle over and done with. Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence. Well, I was mad to take it on. I'll be glad to get in the car and head back to Sussex and my family. We're all going out later on. Anywhere nice? Midnight Mass. Oh, well. This is just ridiculous. What kind of people boo a nativity? Satanists. I might as well get springs attached to my arse. Right, ready, Lils? Looks like I'll have to be. Thinking positive. Ish. Do you believe in life after love? Yes, well, I try to. Then go tell it to the pensioners! Yeah! <laughs> She's going to be awful, isn't she? Yup. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I admire Lillian. Conquering her nerves and getting up on stage. Not that I know what I'd do there. Can't sing, can't dance, can't tell jokes. Can't juggle, can't eat fire, can't walk a high wire while playing the trumpet. Can't do magic tricks, can't hypnotise people. Yeah, maybe you are best suited to the organisational stuff. Hypothetical, anyway. We're not the sort to push ourselves forward. No. My problem is, I won't ever take risks. I'm too scared of looking ridiculous. Hmm. What about you? Do you half wish that was you up there in the spotlight? God, no. Not again. We did Grease at school. They picked me to play Danny. I was chuffed, I mean, I'd never been one of the cool kids. The in crowd. I thought people might finally notice me. And they did. I was that puff in the school play. And people would call out, Puff da, Puff features, Puff the tragic sad man, Puffy, Puffy, Puff, Puff. There was a theme. Not that I am. Anyway, I vowed then, keep your head down, Robin, don't get noticed. Don't risk that sort of rejection again. And where has it got you? Here. Perhaps we should make that our New Year's resolution. To stop letting life pass us by. I've already made mine. It's uh, never to stop a cigarette without smoking it all the way down first. I'm wasting so much money giving up halfway through. Yes. Maybe I'll just resolve to eat more fruit. Yeah. Ooh. Someone got lucky. She certainly did. I got a bit panicky halfway through because I remembered I'd had a star bar for lunch. The peanuts. 
but the spasms were no more than usual. You only had to remember one word. Yes, all right, I made a mistake, but it was your ad-libbing that ruined it. I said, shall we name it this baby Jesus? And you said, no! What choice did I have? Well, you should have disagreed with me, not called him Spencer instead. That's a nice name. Stupid, stupid. Is that What's she got that we haven't? Oh, she just flashed a bit of leg. I'd have flashed my arse for applause like that. Do you believe in love after love? <laughs> Sell shirt, a pack of bags and shut a fucking shop. This one could do a job any day. Oh, well done, Lillian. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to break open my secret stash. Sweet! I'll get some cups from the machine. Yeah, well done, Lils. Anyone can just stand there and sing. Yeah, like we did, when we were booed off. You all right, Barry? Yes. Oh, she remember it now. Well, I'll have to take my hat off to you, Janet. The old folk are wheeling their way out, thrilled with the whole sorry mess. Oh, that's wonderful. They weren't impressed with the acts. Who could be? But they were yammering on about how we've kept the spirit of Christmas alive or some such. Mind you, one of them wished me a happy Halloween, so they're clearly not the sanest of critics. Is that in the bleak midwinter? I can't stand that tune. Nah, there's not enough... And it's depressing. Bleak this, moan that. You don't want to be depressed at Christmas. Or any time. And factually, it's all to pot. I mean, our winter's in the Middle East bleak. Look, whenever you see terrorists over there on the news, they're always wearing short sleeve shirts and light slacks with balaclavas. Difficult to gauge the temperature. Quite buff bodies, some of them. Oh, I think it's lovely. Really put me in the Christmas spirit. Actually, I wonder if I might say a few words about this special time. Oh, please, Janet, it's Christmas. Don't drag Jesus into it. I wasn't going to. But Christmas is a magical time of year, whatever you believe. I believe in life after love. <laughs> yeah, don't knock it, Mills. A time when we all come together with our friends. Yeah, we meet all mine later. My other friends. Our families. The people we love. That's what Christmas is to me. A time of love, of giving. This sounds suspiciously like it's coming round to Jesus. No. We've all done a selfless, loving thing today, and, well, I think we should all be very proud. So, I'd like to propose a toast. To Christmas and to love. Shut the 